All right, we're back. About 10 o'clock last night, I came back down to see if that thing had a skin on it, and it did. So I laid some cardboard over top of it and then put bales on it. And Hopefully it didn't screw the finish up. We'll find out. I mean, if you touched it with your hand, you couldn't really put any fingerprints in it. So... Didn't even put a mark in it as long as none of the straw stuck in it. Gonna be slow drying, I can tell you that much. Yeah, I guess I did put a couple scuff marks in it with the broom, but it'll be fine. Still a little soft, but I'll uh. We'll let it sit there and air dry today, and then before I'm done, I will, or when I'm done tonight, I'll put the cardboard and straw back on it and help keep some of the cold air off of it. And, but today's project <clears throat> uh, is obviously going to be setting blocks, so I'm going to go get my tools. And we gotta get that hunk of plywood off so it's out of the way. And I gotta get my hose drug down here so we can mix mortar. Sucks I can't run heat today, but it obviously ain't gonna do any good with that big hole opened up, so. Anyhow. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, um, I just laid a steel plate across there to, I'm brainstorming ideas as to what to put across there so that I don't uh, accidentally hurt the concrete but i think what i'm gonna do because here obviously your scallop is still out of the brick and over here they when they had this doorway here they filled that full of concrete well what i think i'm gonna do since i got the i think what i'm gonna do is see if i can get a board here and fill this up with mortar gonna have to do something anyway because the the round edge block is gonna overhang and you don't want just sitting over air so if i can get if i can get this full of mortar so that it's flat it, a it'll match that side b it'll support the block so um i need to figure out what i can do because i don't necessarily want to screw right down hard on the form so but i think i know i think i know i think i got an idea so be right back okay it's kind of quick and dirty but i just had enough scrap no teeter don't step on the concrete i had enough stuff to do this quick and dirty out of scrap wood um i didn't screw this down tight to the form i left the screws up that way i didn't distort anything and then this is just pinched in there 
Um, again, because I didn't want to pull anything down tight, it's just down there sitting. Um, but that'll let me get some mortar in there, and then I can just... Because obviously I still need to be down low enough I can get in there and strike off the mortar joints, so that'll give me room to work. So, I think... With that, no, no, no. This is gonna be hard. No. I think we're ready to mix some mortar. Okay, now the trick to this is, I'm only gonna be laying, my my goal is to just, or my plan is to just do three at a time, walk away from it for a half hour or so, let the mortar set up, and then do three more. So the trick's gonna be how much mortar do you mix to do three blocks and not have too much left over. Which, if I do got a little bit left over, there's some holes we can go out and tuck in the foundation. So I guess none of it will go to waste. It's just a matter of not over mixing too much. Now, this is the mortar that was left over from when I did my chimney. been dry it's just been sitting up right like that so it's all hard packed a little bit you think that's enough to do three blocks I might need a little more let's do a little more the first one will tell us how much we need to do on the next one We'll see how I did. This is gonna be my first time ever laying blocks, so. Some bricklayer is going to come along and tell me everything I'm doing wrong, but guess what? I don't care. Could be another fun part too if these blocks are longer okay so i set the next block in and if you set that one even with the edge of this the mortar joint here is the thickness about three eighths like you would expect so apparently it's just going to be this one which gonna, that's going to be tight 
And apparently it's that bottom or that next layer of block down is not, something's not right because if you come down here to this one, this block is offset out compared to this block about the same as this block is offset into this block. So, um, I guess it is what it is. This, this upright here is just going to be a little tight. And then from there on up there looks like they're going to be about correct. So is what it is, I suppose. Okay. Let's see how hard it is to slip this guy in. worst part is you really got no way to tap on the block to even things out if they're a little I mean it's not terrible but Apparently the blocks, I mean, you'd think they were, but apparently they're not exactly form square either because they're closer on the outside than they are on the inside. So I think we're going to roll with it. I think part of my problem is I'm nervous as hell because I don't want to screw this up. don't want to have dad come over and do it because that kind of defeats the purpose of me doing it. I can't learn if you don't try. Also doesn't help none that I'm using block that doesn't match the original block so you kind of got to make adjustments as you go which adds to the challenge a little bit because it's not like you're building a new brick wall with all matching stuff damn it All right, before I get any further, I'm going to have Dad come over and check this out. Because I got up to this third block, and I got this great big honking gap. And if you set, I just set the next block in there to mock it, and then it's the same here. But, so then I put the level on it. And if you go off of here they're not even and then if you go up to these next two it's even worse those two aren't bad those two aren't terrible so i just don't know what you do with that big mortar joint and then if you get up here is it going to be better i don't know i just want dad to look at this because i now i'm just standing here second guessing myself so better to get another set of eyes on it Alright, we're making some headway. Um, 
basically talked to dad about it, about the gaps and everything, and it's basically come to the conclusion that no matter what we do, it's a patch job on an existing wall. And we're dealing with three different block types. There's this thicker web, and then there's this thinner web. Well, actually, there's two different types out here. You can see what I'm dealing with. There's, there's this type, and then there's this type, and then there's what I'm putting in there now. And if you sight down the vertical joints, they're all like this, going down the wall, and it just... It's a pass job, basically just fake it in the best I can, is basically what we came to. That being said, the joints are thick enough that the mortar kind of has to partially set up, so some of these, the outside ones didn't go too bad, but this one and this one, I'm gonna have to, like, yeah, it's gonna have to set just a tad bit more, and then I'm gonna have to tuck some more mortar in there. But uh, I went into town and got some more concrete. Um, I was hoping for some more gravel mix, but they didn't have any, or they didn't have enough. So I got some quick set, and we're gonna pour the core full as I'm going. Um, hopefully, I don't, I'm just gonna do one bag at a time. That way, since if it was gravel mix, I wouldn't be so worried about it. But since it's quick set, I'm just gonna do one at a time because I don't know how many blocks deep I can get with one bag because they're 50 pounders. Um, but uh while i'm waiting for this mortar to cure just a tad bit more so i can tuck some more in and keep building block i'm gonna go ahead and mix up a couple bags or however many bags it takes and start pouring that full so on to the next project Dad said to mix this a little on the soupier side so that it flows down through the block better. So it's a little on the soupier side. Okay, I'm guessing by how much I got left, two bags, one bag definitely wouldn't have done it. Two bags might have got, and might have got, that's one, two, three, four, might probably got to about here. So I probably got about another block and a half worth, which it ought to stay wet enough for a minute if I mix up some more mortar and get another block or get another couple blocks set. So do that real quick.
All right, so I got two more block in and then I was pretty damn close. It came up to about here on this block. So about another block and a half, which this block was basically full of chips from busting the block out. So basically don't count that one. So I filled one, two, three, four, five, six, basically six and a half with two bags. So a bag will basically fill a tick over three blocks so when i'll basically need one more bag to fill from here to there because obviously you're not going to be able to fill the top block because you can't get to it so and then i got one more block here and then we transition to the other style of more square molded block so we change yet again but if I can get these three laid in today, call it good, let the mortar set. That way tomorrow I can, when I set this one, I can drive shims in it and get it up fairly tight to the beam and tuck that one in. And then tomorrow, too, while I'm at it, we can cut this one out, which ain't going to take long, and get this one replaced. There should, there's, there should be enough room there. I can do that one without taking this off. And we can knock these bolts out, and I can tuck these holes shut. So, anyhow, um, try to get these last three laid in real quick. I should have, hopefully, enough, just enough mortar. I might be a little shy. Either way okay i'm all the way up to the last block um this guy here this joint was kind of a pain because this block here broke out kind of like in a scallop right here could not get the more because it it broke out on a scallop and then it broke out kind of like in that in that direction out the back so it's longer on the outside of the block than it is on the inside of the web so i had to try to fill that could not get the mortar to stick finally i took a shim shingle and broke it up to where i could get it to stay in there to hold the mortar up and finally got it to take that took a minute that was frustrating um and apparently their mold for these blocks is off slightly because and it's not every block but some of these blocks are kind of running at an angle like this but if you lay a level across the top of the block the blocks are level and if you lay a level up here they're like they're like they're touching here and they're touching they're touching on the tops so it's like the blocks are tipped that way which i guess i could have made up for it if i'd have tilted the blocks that way but then i don't know I, the blocks aren't quite square it's like i say if you lay a level across the top they're level but if you lay a level across three blocks out here, they're only touching on the tops, but you really can't tell. So, but anyway, I got to mix up one more bag of concrete mix so I can pour those last three blocks full. And then I'll have to wait a little while so I can strike off these joints without pushing the mortar through. All right. All right, we're all poured up through the tire, poured up to the top. That last, about from here up, got a little watery. The, it, um, I don't know why, it didn't take me that long to get from here to 
however long my first bucket full of concrete went like three minutes maybe and in that time the little bit that was left in the drum set up so i had to get some water in there to get it sloshing again and that little bit of water just made that much of a difference but it's not pushing the mortar out so i was worried there for a minute like man if this stuff gets a little heavy and start pushing that mortar out i think it would have been a problem if you'd have you know been had had it that slushy all the way down but just that little bit's not a whole lot of water weight so but that being said i'm still waiting i want to let this mortar get it's getting close but i want it a little tackier before i strike it off so while we're doing that dad highly recommended i get these forms off of this footer yet tonight before they get too stuck so i'm gonna do that real quick my this down here should be yeah, that's firm enough I can get that block off of there. So I'll set you back here as long as my camera doesn't shut off on me because it's cold. Because, you know, reasons. All right, everything's all strike or struck in. So the only joint that gave me an issue was this one right here. Everything else, well, that was just as firm as everything else, but I struck that joint right there and it pushed through right here where they tee into each other. So I had to mix up a little bit of mortar and I just used my thumb and tucked it back. Well, first thing I did was I took the little 3 8 tuck point trowel and kind of stuck it through there and tamped the mortar to tighten it up a little bit. And then I took my thumb and mixed up a little bit more mortar and packed it by hand or with my fingers and restruck it and it, it took. So this side doesn't, uh, well, apparently this block is just a, fuzz narrower than this block and on this side you can tell because it's in just a hair i probably should have split the difference but i wanted to have it flat on the outside because that's what you're going to see and when we frame in the door there's going to be a two by ten or something whatever we decide screwed out here so i wanted it you know flush for that board to go up against at least that's kind of the way dad talked that we we would probably frame it in i don't know things might change but um i don't know for never laying a for not laying a single block a day in my life i don't think i did too bad 
especially for working with three different kinds of block and patching a wall in that's not <coughs> necessarily straight and having to work with oversized gaps i don't i don't know somebody who lays block every day probably could have came in and did that in two hours and it probably only would have took them that long because they'd have had to wait for the mortar to set up as they were going so they weren't so the wall wasn't sagging but but i'm happy with it it's not too terrible um and like i say we'll let her set up overnight that even even as wet as this stuff was that i poured up here it's the the core is setting already so i'm impressed by that um but we'll let it set up overnight i'll take i'll mix up enough mortar that i can finish filling that pocket up here um, and if it wasn't going to make the brick so damn heavy and awkward to get up in there, I would almost take one of those bricks tonight and set it on a piece of that flashing and pour it full of mortar. But it would just make it such a pain to get up there. It, it's just not worth it for, for what it is. So, and that wall or that corner is not going to be full of anything. So it's, I mean, whatever. So but the the new footers coming out good or came out good um i got everything got all the great stuff pulled away from it this turn or this ledge turned out good this is going to serve two purposes a it just gives it a little bit more meat right here since the original footer fell off so it just gives it a little bit more meat to back it up right here and then when we come in eventually and pour the new floor it gives the new floor something to set on top of just like it would it would have down there so there was a little bit of a pooch here on both sides where the uh flashing was but it's not terrible and it all stayed on top of this footer so but for trying to patch in that awkward shaped wedge deal they got going on there i don't think i did too bad so eventually you're never going to see it anyhow because it's going to be buried in concrete so with that being said i guess i'm calling her for the day i'll get my garden hose drained out and i just left it strung out last night i guess i'll do the same thing today that way i don't got to drag it back down here tomorrow to keep mixing mortar and we'll get her We'll get there, those last two blocks laid in tomorrow and call her square. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow afternoon. Well, I must not done too bad because it's still standing. Mortar has tacked up. It's not super duper dry yet. I was hoping it was going to be dry enough. I could wire brush it today and scuff off all the, the little tidbits from from uh striking it off but i did a little bit and it was still i think i did that joint right there just to try it and it was scratching up the mortar a little bit more than what i would have liked so I have to wait one more day but like i say it's still standing so the concrete i put in here despite the fact that it was like soup yesterday is setting up pretty decent it's still kind of soft right there in the center but it's the, obviously the block was going to soak up a fair bit of that moisture anyhow so i guess with that being said what i'm going to get done or what the order we're going to do this in so i'm going to get some order mixed up and we will get this block set because i'm going to have to put i'm going to have to uh wedge it in order to get it up tight against the beam, I'm going to have to put it in here dry and drive some uh, shim shingles in it to wedge it up. And then I can go in and tuck the joint and then let, the shit, or let it sit there and let the mortar start to set. And while we're waiting for that to set, we will work on getting this block cut out and replaced. And by the time that's all said and done, that mortar up there should be dry enough. We could drive the shim shingles out, tuck the hole shut, and be done. So... Get some order mixed up. Okay, so this is why I needed these blocks all nice and 
well, they're not dry dry, but needed these blocks firm. So I got that block in there and I got shim shingles wedged under it, drove in nice and tight so that it's wedged up against the barn beam. So I needed to be able to do that without pushing down and smashing mortar joints on any of these. So that one's set, it's ready to go. I can go ahead and tuck it in. Okay, that block's tucked in as far as we can get it until it sets up. Um, the thing that's going to make that easier is before I set the block in, I went and uh, filled up the rest of that uh, cavity here with mortar so it was level full. So I could basically just tuck that joint clear full all the way across. Um, so should be plenty of mortar under that block to keep it held up. But got to let it sit for a little bit so that it firms up so we can knock those uh, chim shingles out. And then down here where we had this uh, overbite, I just tucked that full of mortar and I had to shove that 2x4 there to keep it up. Um, it's not perfectly square, but uh, when that sets up, I can just take a grinder and square it up and round this edge so that kind of matches the block and because that was going to be a pain in the ass to try to form well you couldn't really form it to begin with because you're filling a cavity and if you would have put a form up there you had, had no way to get any get any material in it so we can clean that up with a grinder when it's set so we'll hopefully be able to take that block out of there yet tonight if as long as it's firmed up enough so anyhow with this done we can go over there and cut that block out so i'll go get my grinder and we'll move on to that side All right, that came out relatively easily, but while I was taking it out, I noticed something kind of ironic. So this mortar joint here is, is basically falling apart. Um, and it's the same mortar joint that's falling apart down there that we talked about a couple of videos ago. Ironically, that's the mortar joint with that wire reinforcing web in it. So the piece that's supposed to be you know, keeping the strength in the mortar is actually what's making it fall apart. Eventually, I'll have to retuck that whole joint. But uh, for now, I just ground back one block's worth. And although, since I'm here, I'll see if I can get that little piece wiggled out of there. And we'll go back that far since I got mortar. And also, not that it's going to do a shit and bit of difference but since we're here and it's opened up i'll at least fill this block up to here with mortar so that yeah i mean if it's gonna get hit it's more than likely gonna get hit close to ground level so if you fill it up at least to here it'd be nice to get this block full but oh well so anyhow moving on okay this is gonna work out pretty good that block fits in there like a glove the new one. I filled the, the block up even, so we're just gonna mortar across the top of the whole thing.
in since the, the this block has a sharper edge than this block it's going to stand proud so once everything sets up here we can come into the grinder and kind of blend it in so it should work out pretty decent All right, that one's in. The top joint on that one probably got a little too thick. I probably should have put a little bit more mortar on the bottom, but once it was in, you were going to pull probably most of the mortar back out trying to get it out. So it's a patch block. It is what it is. But anyhow, probably let that guy sit a little longer, and then we'll finish up that last block over there. All right, we're all tucked in and... Every, all the joints are struck off, so now it's just up to time for everything to set up, so. Thank God that's over. I can tell you what, I do not want to ever consider being a bricklayer in my life. That's too stressful. Of course, it wouldn't have been, probably wouldn't be so bad if you were starting off on a new wall rather than patching an old one, but still, that's too stressful. Too much going on. I'll stick to mechanicin. So anyhow, I'm gonna clean up some tools that we're not gonna need for a while and call her a night. I gotta go up and give Teeter a bath because she decided to roll in something dead, didn't ya? Yeah, didn't ya, you stinker. So hopefully, I gotta go get some more gravel mix this week and hopefully by next weekend, I will have this thing jacked up the rest of the way and next weekend we can get that post out of there and cut the floor out and get the pad poured so and i'm also going to try to get some stuff around so we can start working on some other shop projects while we're at it so anyhow i guess that's it for this one we'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs>